Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on Thursday, March 27th. And I'm here with ASD high school students that recently competed in Scholars Cup, which is an international competition um, that is centered around the joy of learning. They're here with their advisor, Mr. Ogle. This was a first time, never before have we competed in Scholars Cup. And Mr. Ogle is going to tell us about the competition. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a competition we started training for in January. Uh, we only heard about it very recently. Our first time, and it was the first time for Doha, a region around there, and it involves four things, which I think the pupils themselves are going to explain. All right. So if we think about what, what are the skills of a scholar, um, what kinds of things were you asked to do in Scholars Cup? Well, the first portion was collaborative writing. The second was a 120 question multiple choice test just on pure knowledge about the various subjects. And then there was a debate and a scholar's bowl, which was similar to the 120 question multiple choice test, except it was with your team of three people. All right. So collaborative writing, debate, um, research, as well as multiple choice questions. And we have people laden with medals. Please tell us. Um, if you can hold your head up, <laughs> tell us what you want. OK, so some of the things I won, I came second overall in the test that we took. And as a team, which my team was Hannah and Teresa, we came third in the same aspect. And we came as the first, we came out as the first rookie team. and second overall. And my understanding is that there were 63 teams. This is the first time that this has ever been done in Doha and Qatar. Let's talk about what you learned. Was it fun? One of the quotes I love from the website was it says, um, good an experience for everyone, the, the losers as well as the winners. So tell us about your experience. Okay, um, of course it was really fun and it was such a valuable memory. Since like you can learn something and then you can use that memory for debate and serving the questions. And especially the debate was amazing. Like the topics were so interesting. So you'll be, have fun if you do it. Now there's some interesting alpacas in the group. Um, tell us about alpacas. What do they have to do with Scholars Cup? The alpacas um, are the mascot animal for the Scholars' Cup, um, and the founder said that this was because um, it was to remind us that it's not an entirely serious competition, um, and there were a lot of alpaca-themed questions, uh, and it was just it was just a little bit of fun to remind us that it wasn't an entirely serious event. And as you think about the overall experience, will you do Scholars Cup next year? And why? Um, <laughs> I'm definitely going to try uh, participate participate Scholars Cup next year because it was really fun and interesting. And I think there was a great opportunity to try many types of competing your intelligence maybe thank you um, well it was our first time doing scholars cup so we were a bit nervous and unprepared but now we know how fun it is and what it's about we can go back again and do like even better next year and mr. Ogle we thank you um, for serving as the sponsor um, Mr. Ogle, if you don't know, it, this is his first year at ASD yes, yes. as a world language teacher. Talk about, you had to feel at the end of the day enormously proud of these students. Um, thoughts that you have about that? Absolutely. I was so proud at the end of the day because uh, for many of the pupils here uh, who don't do a lot of sport, they're, they're not used to receiving medals and trophies and <laughs> just watching their face as they went up to collect the medals, to collect the trophies. It was truly amazing. And I got a medal too <laughs> for a rookie teacher. <laughs> 
thank you. And, um, and thank you to our students, um, because this is indeed an accomplishment for which we are proud. And want you to know that we honor you for all of your awards at Scholars Cup and for going out and working collaboratively and having a great day. Thank you. And that's Sahifa this week.